I was not late, right? I was here on time. Well, no, 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 you were late yeah. because we were supposed to be having this debate at 22.7. <laughs> what oh, happened? What happened? 20 past eight, you see. <laughs> oh, did you? I did. Uh, oh. But I'm here and I look crap and I've not got socks on, but I'm here, so I'm did not late. Did you forget your socks? Yes. Because you ran out of the house? Because I ran out of the house. Is anything in particular delaying you this morning? Um, the Addison Lee. Oh. Blame, he told me to blame him. He's like, just blame me. I nice Irish oh, guy. Oh, he told you. He told me oh, to, okay. Yeah. So I, didn't, I didn't. You've sensed okay. the aura of smugness around me. There's a great <laughs> halo because actually, I'm here to say it's okay to be late, but I was on time. Um, the problem for, for people who get obsessed with lateness, I think, is it's very rigid. And in any organisation, you have to have a variety of people, and creative people often are very much in the moment, and therefore they, oh my goodness, I'm late. And if everybody has to be the same, you get a very boring place to work. Don't you? However, it, a lot of people who are on time feel like it's a sign of disrespect because mm. it suggests that your creativity and time having all these brilliant ideas is more important than the person well, who's turned up on time, the, who also might be creative and trying to have brilliant ideas, but is trying to get on with their day. I think that the people who are obsessed by other people's behaviour are making judgments about other people, aren't they? I think there's a, there's a phrase called respect other people's maps of the world. We are all different. I mean, I'm uh, historically a, a journalist, and journalism has a lot of eccentric people. I worked for a newspaper that employed Geoffrey Bernard, who was habitually <laughs> days late for everything. So, it, but it's about judging people on what they produce, not how they produce it. Now, there are... I mean, Mussolini ran the trains on time, did not make him a good guy. It, I think, brilliant you know, example. <laughs> I think we need... <laughs> we need. Let's just go there with Mussolini. No, but, you know, there are, but there are some people who are very, very rigid thinkers and they judge anybody else who doesn't meet their... Uh, standards and actually I think we need to be a little bit more flexible to in the ETH robots are on time but actually we need people who are creative who are different who are ex eccentric yeah. and they may so Andrew if in your in your workplace then yeah. as Larry says the workplace is made of all sorts of different people and there will be people that you need to be creative and sometimes mm -hmm. those people need a bit more space to think and actually the priority for them isn't sitting at the desk at nine o'clock on time the priority for them and for you at the, at the helm of the business is great ideas yeah no I get that I totally get that however like if you're always late just set your alarm earlier, then you won't be late. If you're always 20 minutes late, set your alarm 20 minutes earlier and you'll be on time. There's no excuse for it. You rock up to work late, there's, 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 there's things that could be done, there's work that isn't being done, that's not being passed on to other people, therefore someone else is late and someone else is late and there's not gonna fix. If there's you were no gonna excuse. have a meeting together and the time was fixed at midday and you turned up at midday and Larry was 20 minutes late, what would you, how would you feel about that? And well, when she you... turned up, I wouldn't be there. I'd left because I'll have something else to do and I'll prioritize something else. Oh. Because how she doesn't, do you, she you doesn't, might miss she the person well, with the great idea Well, no, because if you don't prioritize the meeting, which has been booked at a certain time, which is just a, a base level of how you should work, then I'm not going to prioritise my time. No, there is a theory, there's a psychological theory that some people are in time, some people are through time. You're obviously through time, which is you're thinking ahead, you're planning ahead, and that's great, but often those people don't enjoy the present because they're constantly planning ahead. In time, well, he's trying to enjoy the very present, mindful. but what you minutes do, of the present has gone past. What you, if you're running an organisation and you have some people who are in time and not through time, is you manage around that. You say, OK, we get them a great deputy who then makes sure they are where they need to be. So there should be different rules for you. No, it's not different so rules, it's about... Right, everybody, no, everybody yeah. has to be, you play to people's strength. You don't say, we all, do, I mean, I've got, I've got kids who are at school, for example, and they don't wear a uniform. I have no problem with that. Some parents will think that's outrageous, they get to wear what so they Larry, like. If you organize, so, Larry, if you organise a meeting with someone, yeah. do you always say, so I'm going to try and meet you at 12 o'clock, do you always say, I could I, be 15 minutes either I, way. I tend to be on time because I know that I just, personally, if I'm going to meet somebody like this, it's important to them. And yeah. if I'm providing them Someone a service like and they're employing me, then I'm on time. But if I am working with somebody <laughs> who is a person who is habitually late, I will give them a call a bit early and say, are you aware that the meeting is coming up? You just manage around it. What you don't do is just rigid, rigid, rigid. Well, you have to behave a certain way, you have to do your work a certain way. That's not the way you get the best people in an no, organisation. not necessarily. But I, I, so I've worked in um, several places where flexi time is, is used. Now, flexi time for me, I think, is a good thing for parents and people who have um, responsibilities outside of work. But when you're saying you can start between eight and 10 and you can finish between four and six, you've got an hour either side by which no one really knows who's in the office, who's coming and going. Mm. So you've got two hours per day in the day where you're potentially losing productivity. Now, that's the same as lateness, if you ask me. If someone, you're all rocking up at nine o'clock and someone turns up at 10 o'clock, that person is losing out on an, on an hour's work. They might be able to do an but hour after work. Do you judge them on what they produce or the hours they're sat in the office? Mm. I judge people on what they produce. Mm. 
But if I'm paying someone a, a wage to do a job and I expect them there at this time, then but I if, expect but, them but there Harry's at this time. But point still stands, though. You might be paying them to do the job if they're doing good work and they're delivering what they need to deliver. Give or take 20 minutes. What yeah, but that's why, that's why maybe a flexi time system would be more yeah. appropriate to give them that ab ability. But while you're in work, there is no excuse for being mm. late to a meeting. One minute past seven. <laughs> 93% of you think that being late isn't acceptable. Sorry, uh, Nora. <laughs> yeah, 7% say it is. We're so late for the weather. Not, not very convinced, even though Andrew was 20 minutes late for this. <laughs> yeah. uh, he interview. wasn't late. He wasn't late. I was early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, thanks very Absolute much indeed. <laughs> Great to see you. Thank you for all those comments. Uh, 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 You're going to make was, Laura even later. No, I'm going to make Laura even later because I think it's, it's impolite to ask for tweets and then not read them out. Uh, that's in a whole other story, isn't it? Uh, my husband blames us for being <laughs> late all the time. I'm always ready last minute. A coat on when he coat on when he realizes he's forgotten his phone, wallet, and watch. I have to find them. My mum is never earlier on time. I can say 10 a.m. She will not be ready till 10 p.m. On the other hand, when she goes out with her friends, she'd be ready 24 hours early. That could be something else there, couldn't it? We've got <laughs> we've got friends that we tell the wrong time to. We always tell because they're always late. Yeah, they're always late. Managing round their yeah. lateness. So yeah. we say come an hour earlier, and then they usually turn up sort of kind of on time. Good but then, tip. But Is that then... your friends, Kate Garraway? What are you going to say, Angie? I was going to say, them friends who, who tell you they're, they're on the way for a night out and then they turn up three hours later and, and you've been waiting there. Maybe you're just not that exciting. They've they're got the better things people. to do. <laughs> <laughs>